Hey guys, I'm Roger for Phones in Nepal and this is my full review of the latest premium media smartphone from Huawei, the Huawei Nova 3. So without any further delay, let us get straight into the video. The Huawei Nova 3 packs a last 6.3 inch Full HD IPS display with a 19.5 is to 9 aspect ratio. Images and text on this panel look sharp with great details and vibrancy. The viewing angles too are great with a variable level of brightness. Though the phone packs the infamous notch, it didn't cause any hindrance in my day-to-day -day usage. Although I do prefer a phone without a notch, the notch on the phone is not that bad. And hey, if you don't like the notch, you can always hide it from the settings via software. And encasing this behemoth of a display is a glass on glass design sandwiched by a metallic frame. This not only gives the phone a jaw-dropping look but also a great in-hand feeling. The rounded glass bag gives the phone an extra oomph in the aesthetics department. That's it, I don't prefer the coated gloss the glass bag that the phone comes with. Don't get me wrong, the Nova 3 looks and feels amazing, but I am so used to the raw glass feel that I crave for it. The Huawei Nova 3 in the camera department packs a quad camera setup with a pair on each side of the phone. It combines a f1.8 16MP and a f1.8 24MP at the rear. Shooting pictures with the pair has been a surreal experience. The picture quality of the camera is very good with adequate amount of details, sharpness and vibrancy. The phone also packs a dual camera setup at the front combining a f1.8 24MP and a 2MP sensor. The image quality of the front shooter is not that far off from its rear counterpart, although the bokeh effect definitely is better on the rear camera. Talking about the low-light performance, the Nova 3 excels in this department too. Being forged from the same DNA of the P20 Pro, the low-light performance of the phone is great. Truly impressed. And sitting below the rear cameras is a fingerprint scanner that works super well. I was easily able to unlock the phone in a jiffy. That said, I haven't made much use of it as I'm more inclined towards the face unlock feature that the phone comes with. Moving on, talking about the performance of the Nova 3, the phone was able to fly through all my day-to-day -day tasks. Doing the basics like scrolling through Facebook, posting some Instagram pictures and surfing the internet has been a smooth experience. This is all thanks to the Kirin 970 processor backed by 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. The phone also supports memory expansion via a micro SD card up to 256GB. Gaming performance too on this phone has been a pleasant experience. All the games including heavyweight titles like PUBG, Asphalt 9 ran without a problem. Having a flagship SoC on a premium mid-tier smartphone is a great inclusion. The Huawei Nova 3 at the software front runs EMUI 8.2 based on Android 8.1 Oreo. The UI is smooth with no visible lags or stutters. Everything is where it should be with option for customizability. That said, I feel that the software on the Huawei Nova 3 needs a bit of work. Huawei could work on trying to tone down the UI and add material design elements to the UX. If Huawei can nail the software, it will without a doubt win over the populated market. And finally, powering the device all up is a 3750 mAh non-user removable battery. The battery life of the phone is great as it lasted me a good 5-6 to six hours of on-screen time on a single charge. This without a doubt would be enough to get users through a day of uses on a single charge. So in conclusion, the Huawei Nova 3 is the mid-ground between the mid-tier Nova series and the flagship P series. It brings all the things we love about the P20 Pro in a fresh and affordable body. It shares the same DNA as the P20 Pro, packing an amazing display, powerful processor, mind-blowing cameras and an eye-catching design. The phone checks all the right boxes that make up a great smartphone. That said, I think Huawei can still improve upon by providing a better UI experience. Implementing Google's material design would be nice. So is the Huawei Nova 3 worth the price of Rs 59,900? Is it the best premium media smartphone in the market right now in Nepal? Well, the answer to both this question is yes. Although the phone is priced a bit higher than the international market, it is worth it. For everything the phone has to offer, it is one of the better, if not the best premium media smartphone under Rs 60,000 here in Nepal. So that's about it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always guys, it's been me, Samar for Phones in Nepal and I'll see you guys in the next one.